And when it hit that head, it rested. And in that rest state, all of the things that was taken out of you were brought together and formulated. So your idea that was not seen, that wasn't even a word yet, became flesh. So let me get this right. The mind realized it needed a woman. And the mind created a woman. Is this what you're saying, brother? Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. Otherwise, tell me where she came from. Because I see where you're going with this, and I like this. Yo, I yo are you seriously, brother Shabazz, oh. trying to tell us? Hold on, hold on. Are you seriously, brother Shabazz, trying to tell the people, the viewers out there, that man was created through the mind? How can man be created through the mind when the mind is not here yet? Where is the mind? That's what I'm, I'm looking for. The mind has always been. There ain't never been a time when the mind was not. How else do you have anything? What is your definition of the mind? What do you mean when you say the mind? The mind is all. The mind is all. The mind is all there is. All of this is the mind. And you're acting it out. That very idea that you had, and before you had it, your father had it, and your father produced you. So where did you come from? Surely you can't tell me you came from the woman, because you only rested there nine months. And then you got put out into the world. But before you got in her, where were you? Some place where you wasn't seen or heard. Just like your ideas was not seen or heard till you made them known. So man is that word made flesh. And I just gave you a process of how that word, which before was a word, was an idea, and before was an idea, was a thought manifest itself all the way down from the mind, through the brain, through the spinal column, through the kidneys, through the liver, through the lungs, through the heart, picked up everything that it bypassed and produced it again. So did we evolve from what? Man has always been man and he will continue to be man. 